Welcome, everybody, to the Monkey Show Night Shift. Tonight, we are doing more VA flights, part three of our, uh, was it Bahamas tour? Grand Bah uh, Caribbean tour. That's it. Um, <laughs> with our, uh, with our VA from, uh, uh, Millennium Aviation. And as always, we have the regulars with us, Mr. Moondog88. Hello. And Zig Zaggy. Hello. And... We have Dan somewhere in the background. Hi, Dan. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So tonight we are taking off from M Y A M, which is where again, Moondog? Oh, wait a minute. I was just about to look that up, and now you want to throw it on me. Uh, Harbor, <laughs> Marsh Harbor uh, International. Okay. Go, uh, and we'll be landing at MYBG. You're going to ask is... me that, aren't you? Yep. Uh, so you must have the other two, the other one ready too. Yeah, I'm looking it up real quick here. Uh, um, pass. Give it a second here. <laughs> We're um, real professional. Come on. One of these tabs that I have will open up and tell me that it is uh, uh, Great Harbor K Airport. And then from there, we are heading to MYNN, which is? Linden Pitting International Airport. Very good. And we're flying the A2A Cessna's one, uh, 182s. Um, it is raining, but hopefully it will stop raining soon. The clouds will clear a little bit, and we'll get to see a nice sunrise as we're heading into our first airport. Um, so let's go ahead and let's get everything fired up and get started and get rolling down the down the taxiway. I'm hoping Moondog and Zig have taken care of their planes so that way they don't have to rebuild them again. I did no, put I, fuel in. I did remember I, to do I, that. I'm good. I just oh, now I've got rain, but I don't still don't see uh, right. Zig yet. So. so we've got three passengers. All right. All of them stared to death. Catch it. Put in our standard 20 gallons of fuel in each tank. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this, oh, oh! I can tell that it has been a while. There's no oil in my at all. So fill the oil up. And air plate weight balance checked. Uh, pressure brake set. Holy crap! So. I can definitely tell that my plane has sat for a while. So this is the problems we have. The battery is shot, both brakes are shot, the left and right landing gear need major rebuilds, both main tires are shot, I need to replace the nose wheel, and a supercharger assembly is not fit for flight. So we have to do a little bit of work. I do see somebody behind me there. Excuse me? I think you missed something. <laughs> 
So we're just going to do a complete overhaul. If it'll let me. <laughs> Might as well just buy a new plane. Fuel quantity good. Uh, Static's off. Enunciator test switches. Good. Fuel route both. Cow flaps. No, and I'm having that same issue when I cl hit click complete overhaul. Complete uh, overhaul, it won't do anything. You have to then reset the plane. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. And reset. Flaps. Master switch off here in a second. Shouldn't take too long to load the train. It's already loaded once. That's off, and then we're good for our walk around. All right, let's double check. Okay, and everything looks good again. We're just doing two flights. Yep. <clears throat> Alright, so if we do that, that's all good. So now we're to the actual outside walk around. Alright, let's fill that back up again. I'm gonna be just a couple minutes behind you guys. Shake the flaps. Check those, those look good. Those look good. I don't know, maybe my plane was struck by lightning or something. Checked that. Breaking brake set. Fuel looks good. Come on. Goes on. Fuel looks good. That. Cow flaps look good. Pellet looks good. Cow flaps open. Flaps extended. That looks clear. Yep. Feels good. Yep, that looks good. And then... Alright, I don't understand. I, I did that. Set the wheel chucks and the tie downs, but when I do the walk around, then they're not there. Hmm. Check that. That looks good. Oh, wrong that way. That looks motion. Those are good. A little bit of motion. Those look good. Those look good. Tie downs. Off. Bill charts. Check fuel. Baggage fuel is good. locked. Remove that. That's good. Good to the touch, and we're back inside. Walk around complete. All right. That looks good. We're good with the walk around. Um. Looks good. Ready for engine startup. Tie down. And Running in shortly. And mixture out. Props in. That's so good. Master on. It's good. It's good. Turn that light on for a little extra. Oh, I forgot to start my flight. Oh, good thing you said that. Oh, thank you. Faster. Start flight. <laughs> Start flight. <laughs> Real professionals here, everybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's been a while. There's so much. There's so much to do with this plane itself. You forget to then start flight. Itself. Right. All right. Beacon. It's here. Throttle. Oh, nope. 
that's fuel pump. That's beacon. Mixture out. Cow flaps definitely open. Pop in. Fuel pump on. Master switch on. Beacon on. Rich. Cow flaps open. Fuel pump on. Starts right up. Mixture rich. Pressures look good, ampers look good, temperatures are so cold. Just Come on, start. Mike, Yankee, Alpha, Mike, traffic, Cessna, Zulu, India, Golf, is taxiing to runway Niner. Question is, where is runway Niner? Um, at the other end of 27. <laughs> Well, I'm correct. Yeah. Uh, flight time is good. It's not started yet. Local time. Uh, no. UT time, which is 10.54. Local time is 5.54. So it looks like we might have to taxi down the runway. Okay. Let's so see. To get to the other end. Auto start. I still cannot get the hang of getting this plane started. We'll practice later. Um, All right. Let's get some basically lights hold on. Hold it to the start. Give it like one or two seconds until the prop starts sputtering and then put in mixture all the way. Yeah, I tried that. Should work. It didn't. Then probably prime it again. God, Windows, I don't want to update. Turn the lights on, so we can see what's going on here. So, radios are all up, we're good there. The flaps were set. Track flaps. And let's get let's everything turned else. on. Controls check, fuel quantity check, rich. Yep, good there. Okay. Let's look for... What gates are you guys at? I'm One, assuming. two, and three, parking. Okay. Let's pull up Active Sky here and look at our conditions. Crappy. Pressure is three zero seven. Uh, three zero zero seven. My uh, what flight? I guess altitude. Uh, I'm doing four thousand. Thirty-five. I'm doing four. We'll do four five. All right, so those checks are all good. We're set there. Oh, you know one thing cross. about this plane that's really hard to see when you have the uh, taxi lights on. You notice that when it's dark out? Yeah. Like it washes everything out. Frost Need to lean it out, otherwise I'm gonna. F Follow my plugs. All right. All right, I'm warmed up and ready to go. I'm taxiing down the nine. Asking. You know what? I'm not even gonna announce anything. I'm just gonna go. Oh. Well, I have I have mine set up as IFR because I've not going to play with that game again. Play with what game? Not having clearance, not knowing where airport is, stuff like that. So I figured I'd just set it up. Oh, a second, I gotta defog my windshield. All right, I'm spawning in. Wait, no, you guys are on Join FS. Let me get that running. Four thousand. Sky Park? Digital theme park? Digital yes. theme park, yeah. Okay, digital theme park. <laughs> OK. 
Okay. Taxi. Want to make sure I don't hit the fuel pump? No. Nope. Guessing a Cessna slamming into a fuel pump is not a good thing. Not really. I'll turn the, uh. Right. I'll turn my, uh. Taxi light off so I don't blind you. Come on, it's just stuck at 96%. There we go. Yeah, wouldn't you know it, we've been flying all these in the dark. Finally get to a point where we're going to start seeing some some sunlight and, and sunrise and it's raining and, and it's raining and got thunderstorms although i am seeing a hell of a light show off to the west here i'm watching lightning actual like cloud to cloud lightning and cloud to ground lightning oh that's nice It should break up as we go. Yeah. Looks like, anyhow. Maybe. Well, it looks like the majority of it is to the west of us. I mean, I'm not looking at the actual ra uh, weather radar. Good grief. You got your landing lights on? Yep. No, I got my taxi. <laughs> like I can't even see. Whoa, there goes All Rico. Right. <laughs> Were you able to stop, Draco? What are you uh, talking about? I'm heading to the end of the runway. Oh, you got that going on. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I'm holding short of nine right now. Don't look at Draco, everybody. He's got a little different texture pack going on. Finally, I'm the one that gets to be special mm -hmm. for once. <clears throat> mm -hmm. see you guys coming? I'm on the way. I'm wondering how freaking long this... We don't need this much runway to take off. Alright, let me know when you guys are ready to go. All right, I just started my engine, so you guys can go without. I see, I see Draco. I still do not see you, Zig. I turned my lights off, so you can. I see both of you. No, I mean I don't see you oh. at all. All right, I'm gonna pull out onto the runway. I'm pivoting around on the runway. I don't see you, Zig. Are You're you at... even close to? I don't know. Are you at nine? I'm on nine right now on the end of it. Uh, I'll quit out of join and jump out. Uh, you guys are inside of each other practically. <laughs> there you go. I see you now. Do you see me now? No. Hit your yeah, network you button and pretty push much back on. Now you just went away again. There you are. Okay. Now we're all right. Nope. Now you're gone. Well, that's okay. Now you're there. Yeah. Oh, that time now. Thank you. That time though, I'm. I don't see you though. Are you two done playing peekaboo? 
<laughs> I don't understand freaking join. I. Okay. I see you. Stay there. Do you see me? No. Okay. That's hold why on. I was hold kind on. of killed it off. Stop. Did you? Oh. No. Now am I there? You're there. I'm there. Okay. I got you. Let's go. Okay. Everybody sees everybody now. I don't see Andrew. I'm <laughs> just now taxiing. <laughs> it's because Andrew's stuck in the weeds over there somewhere. That's possible. All right. No, I'm just starting my taxi right now. So. Can, you want me to go ahead and go, or do you guys want to pull out on a runway? You guys are going to pull out in front of me, so if you guys want to go... Wait a minute. Where's your guys' runway at? Right here. Right here. Oh shit, my runway is yeah, you're all way the way up. over here. Yeah, you're way back there. Wait, do we have the taxi on the runway? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, hold on, give me a second. Oh, I had an actual taxiway. Nope. We don't. Yeah, here, I'll taxi on down. Alright, I've got lights, I've got everything on. I'll turn off my landing light, I guess, leave strobes on. Strobes do need to go on. Um, until I know for sure I'm going to leave Pedo Heat on. I don't see Andrew yet, and I don't want to fly through him here in a second. Well, I'm down here at the end. He just he passed by you. He did? Okay. Yeah, you're good. You're clear. Alright. Uh, there was only one thing I forgot to do here real quick. What's that? Gear. No. I forgot to put my headset on. Barrow. That's all. Oh, there. That's better. Alright. Uh, now let's take off south, and we're ready to go. Fighting with gimbal lock here. I was fighting with the autopilot. It tried to kill me again. Oh, I haven't. I haven't done autopilot yet. Someone's stolen. That's what I said. I keep fighting with it. It wants to pitch up too fast. Oh, I bet I know why. Trim. Wow. I didn't set trim too much. Alright. Check that. And Roger. I'm gonna rotate left or to port and end up on line that way. So turning left. That's Draco that just flew just about underneath me. Alright, we may not be able to go up to 4,000, depending on where the clouds are. That's fine. Quit.
Oh, what happened? <laughs> there I am. Yeah. I just love it. All you hear is all what happened and crap. I'm looking at the map, looks like quite a bit of rain and clouds almost all the way there. There's Andrew there behind me. Mm -hmm. And there is Zig and Moondog. Two thousand feet. Oh, coming up to two thousand, but indicated is at eighty, and that's why I keep getting the buzzer is because just don't have the speed going into this headwind. Well, I back my climb down to like four, like three hundred feet, three four hundred feet. That's where mine is too. And I got my prop pulled back to twenty four hundred RPM with full power. Yeah. So I just got a wind shear warning. What are you guys' mixture set up? I got 50% right now. Oh, I got full mixture right now. All right. Oh, I don't. I'm down at 80. I'm going to back it off a little bit more. Just FYI, guys, we got a wind shear up here. How high? Uh, about 2,300 feet. All right, I'm at 2,000 right now. Alright. And away we, we go. go. So, uh, if you guys watch your vertical speed, all of a sudden you'll see your vertical speed just drop. Like me right now, I'm dropping at like two, three hundred feet per minute. Then all of a sudden I'm going up five hundred feet, almost a thousand feet per minute. But my pitch isn't changing. Yeah, no, my pitch is pretty steady. It's and I'm getting the same thing, six, seven hundred down to zero. Hey, Thorn, we're flying the uh, A2A uh, Cessna 182. T. Well, I, I was getting the Active Sky um, wind shear warning. Uh, mm. But I think I'm going to set it right here for 3,000 because those clouds are pretty low. Throttle back a bit. Pull my mixture out. About 57. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> All right, I'm at 25 right now. I'm at seven right now. This is gonna be a bumpy flight. I'm at thirty three. I'm gonna stay at four or five and just go in between these clouds. Well, they IFR already has me wanting to vector so that I can get onto approach. <laughs> See, that's why I don't do IFRs, because especially for these short flights, by the time you take off, they're telling you to get ready to land. Oh, sorry. I don't have a problem with it. You guys are all way ahead of me. What do you mean? I think I see three, three planes up there blinking. 
are you, Zig? Well, I saw, I, last I saw you were about 7.6 behind me. That's weird, I see Draco and Zig, but I don't see Moondog. I didn't see you because the jo join wasn't right. Oh. Alright, there's... to Zig. So I see Draco ahead of me. And Zig should be somewhere like behind me or below. Oh, you like to fly the DC-3, Thorn? We fly the... Uh, have you uh, flown the uh, Manfred Johns <sighs> C-47? That's a, a really a really nice plane to fly. It's free. Huh, I'm gonna have to get it then. Yeah, Zig, I'm right yeah. ahead of you. Uh, Dan, yeah, get that. It's it's a little bit of a challenge to learn to get it started, but once you get it started, it's a nice plane to fly. And don't worry, Ernie will get drunk and talk you through it. Yeah, you'll be fine. There, 46 nautical miles out. B2. Mi 21 minutes. Yeah, that's one of our favorite favorite planes to fly, Thorn. Yep. Whoa. What altitude are you guys at? I'm at three. I think I'm going to maybe try and come down. It just jumped me all the way up to almost four. <laughs> I just got V2 all out. Wow. Yeah, it's air's pretty choppy to, uh, tonight. Oh, I'm overspeeding. Shit. It might be because you're in a downdraft. Yeah. Wow. I'm sitting here, I got so much lightning all around me, it's... My cockpit looks like a strobe light. You've got lightning, I have no rain, no lightning, no nothing. Really? Really? Yeah, really? that's what I'm saying. I've turned off and turned on active sky. I know that it says I've got a little bit of rain, but I've got nothing compared to what you said. And everybody, welcome the Bipolar Prophet! <laughs> Why are you BP himself? Hey, BP! Oh, Jesus. So much for me making a subtle just drop. <laughs> <Yeah. saying hello. laughs> my ears, my ears are bleeding now after that <laughs> intro Dan gave you there. <laughs> what? <Yeah. laughs> Who? Uh. I have my heading turned to two seven zero. Oh, let's do it this way though. But is your head turned to two seven zero? Yeah, it's tilted a little bit to one side. Then. It's no fun when you're, if your uh, flight stick isn't working good. The orange. She said. There you yeah. Go. It helps if you take it off GPS and put it on heading, though. Yeah, yeah. usually how yeah. that works. Yeah. Get an outside view of the non rainy outside area. I'm not actually getting rain at the moment, I don't think. But Oh I'm I'm getting rain, lightning, thunder. I get some lightning. But well, you're a little bit ahead of me, you're up in that cloud okay. again. No oh, no, that's me in front of you, Zig. Oh. Oh, I've got Drake away ahead of me, but even with that, I don't see. But oh well. So hopefully, pretty soon we'll be flying during the day, so we can see something. Some of the 
the water or really anything. <laughs> yeah. Who's that popping out of that cloud over there? Up, oh, Moondog. Seven miles, 4,000 feet. And I got somebody right behind me, a little too far back for me to see. I just see a light. I think that's me. Because I'm at four or five right now. Is that like three, five, I think? Depends on when you look. I'm going up about <laughs> six. Yeah, you're like you're three, popping four. up about 600 and then dropping down about 600. No, three, five, three, six. Everybody else on the plane already threw up twice. <laughs> All my passengers are drunk, so they don't care. They're having the time of their life. <laughs> they put their hands up like it's a roller coaster. Woo! Yep. <laughs> we, want, we want more. Do it again. How you doing there, BP? Good. Looks like another big cell right up here. Mm-hmm. Do I not have... Close that. Is it a bad thing that your plane starts creaking in tur the turbulence? Just saying. Uh, no. no. It would be, be a bad thing if it, your wings fell off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trust well, me, I know that one. Well, doesn't creaking usually lead to things falling off at times? No, it's just no. the airframe making noise. You're in a Cessna in bad weather. Like, really bad freaking weather. Thorn, I don't have X-Plane, so I haven't uh, experienced that. BP has it. He's been playing around with it a little bit. Well, I've been or, watching or is it load cra and then crash. Are uh, it still doing that? Yeah, it's too good. That's no good. Is, it, is this due to an update or just I don't know. It just stopped working <clears throat> one day. <laughs> okay. I can't be arsed to mess with it. So well, it'll, I it'll just work again one day or it won't. Well, yeah. well. Well, I want to take a minute here to uh, see how I was just making sure I had up there the Ronald McDonald logo uh, to remind everyone. Uh, we are doing a monkey show global extravaganza around the world fundraiser for the Ronald McDonald House. This was the uh, grand idea from Bipolar Profit that we actually do one for an actual charity. It's a very good cause. It goes to the families that of six children that need assistance with either uh, place to stay while they're in the hospital, transportation, and uh, food, food, whatnot, yeah, food, anything that the family needs to help them during that time. Uh, we're asking for donations to go directly to the Ronald McDonald House. Links are in everyone's chat and description. So if you have a dollar or two or 20 or whatever you want to do, send it to the link and uh, help them kids, uh, kids and families out. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so here is the current weather conditions of where I'm at. Uh, few, few at 019 CB ex extends to 11. Oh, fuck. That's a downdraft. Oh, there goes Draco. Up and down. So that's Woo! way up, way up. <laughs> like, don't fly a Cessna here. You have, you have cumulonimbus clouds. And you're flying a Cessna through. Exactly. It says turbulence light, icing none, sheer gradual, cloud shaped flat. Didn't you just say CB? Yeah. That's cumulonimbus. It doesn't say Cav OK, right? Nope, he's at 3.5, still climbing. No. Okay, so that means that it's not OK. So. Well, I'm kind of fighting another draft right now. Good thing I it's a video game. Climb, like, almost a thousand feet within a couple of seconds. Good yeah, thing. that was an updraft. Mm-hmm. That's how you get your rings, your wings ripped off. Literally, I was plummeting towards the ocean at two thousand feet per minute. Uh, we like we like our VA Thorn for for how we like to fly. They have a uh, 
an open division which is the flights that we're flying right now they have a historical division if you like to fly historical type planes like the C-47 and that they and they have uh, historical uh, tours on there that you can do and then they also have a professional division if you were really hardcore and you want to take the tests both the uh, the uh, ride-along test as well as they have a written test and all that kind of stuff so it's a it's a very active uh, virtual airline it's relatively new so I'm this is what I got to take a written test. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to make you guys all take a written test. Only if you sign up for the professional division. Oh, yeah. I got to do instrument written this semester. So this is what I got going on right now. Um, scattered at from 500 extends to 15,000 feet. Cloud type CU. Turbulence moderate. Icing trace. Sheer gradual. It's it. It's it moderate turbulence you gotta worry about you gotta try to avoid that otherwise eventually it's gonna throw you up and turn you upside down mm -hmm. put you in a spin which is fun in SS now I've done it before with my instructor he was just like you wanna see what a spin looks like and I'm like sure he's like alright just pulls up puts it at like 20 degrees and stalls it and we get in the spin we, we yeah, tend to fly a we, opposite rudder to get out of it. Mm -hmm. We tend opposite to fly a, a lot of prop planes also, Thorn. Opposite rudder, neutral a or neutral for ailerons. Pitch should be ever so slightly back, and or ever so slightly up, so back. And then um, power idle. Okay, we're good now. We're out of the worst of it, I think. So where is MYBG? M it is at? Uh, it's Caribbean, Caribbean. Uh, yeah. just south of Grand Bahama in it's Nassau. East of Miami. Yeah. It's uh, Marsh Harbor International Airport. M was the Caribbean. I just didn't know what the other ones were. Yeah. I want to right. remember to do this. 24 miles out. 11 minutes because I had Farm Boy 45 subscribe right before Saturday's uh, voided stream so I uh, want to make sure I put that back up there for him uh, um, I'm not getting any ATIS information what's the weather look like at the airport uh, hold on a second, I'll let you know. Oh, very uh, nice, Thorn. Expected weather. Um, let's see here. At MYBG. Uh, winds 174 at 8 knots. Light rain. View at 1900. At uh, zero one nine broken zero three nine. Uh, based on winds only, the recommending one three zero for yeah, that's what I was thinking. Or one three. Well, yeah, just 13. or one three if you want to be special. Just flying thirteen. Or. Oh, you're supposed to actually see it is one tree only in America yeah now if you tell if you tell Zig one tree he'll land in one tree <laughs> <laughs> maybe more only in America do we do we add the phonetic onto the numbers you don't do that overseas I don't do that here but we say point and they say decimal so yeah <clears throat> well we say dynasty they say dynasty <laughs> well, Can't we all just get along? Decimal's catching on over here, though. I was on pilot edge last weekend. The controller out of San Francisco. They, beer, they say decimal. beer. Uh, oh, please tell me this is going to let up. All right. 
Oh, looks like we're gonna land in a hole in the in the weather. All oh, the whole area, all the islands have nothing but rain all on, uh, all around them. This is 6:30 a.m. We should be getting sunlight if the clouds were parted. I sort of see a glow over there. Yeah. It's starting to come. 6:30. It's winter. You know what I mean? It's gonna yeah. be light later. Yep, I can see it. Off to like my say it, 10, 11 o'clock. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, east. Yeah. Behind us. Behind us? It's well, it's behind, behind me. me because I'm headed on the 27, or no, I'm on a 24 now. Heading. They already have me lining up. Um, trying to think, there's something else I wanted to make sure I said. Mentioned charity, mentioned that. Oh, this would be a good time to remind everyone of our schedule. We fly every Tuesday and Saturday night. We apologize due to the technical difficulties and uh, social uh, interruptions that caused us to not stream last Saturday. Damn um, Windows. <laughs> uh, we normally stream 10 o'clock Eastern, 9 o'clock Central. You can figure out your time zone from when we stream from that. Um, and we also do other streams throughout the week. Uh, if you want to know for sure, share, like, uh, subscribe, su subscribe, follow, comment. Yeah, comment, all those wonderful things. And click the notices so that you know when we have gone live and on a much shorter note remember everybody BP streaming Gold Rush <laughs> tomorrow at 2pm Eastern Standard Time on your favorite Twitch and YouTube channel and this is why he was not upset when I said don't forget we're streaming later tonight I'm just I'm just returning a favor Moondog that's all I'm doing no, just no. so you know Zig there's no approach in the GPS. yeah I saw that just figure I'd check for you. Oh, I overstressed. Seriously? Aww. Yep. Well, someone's redoing this flight. Yep. Well, last time it was Moondog's turn. Mm -hmm. Well, you guys fight for that free love VA. You could just slew back to wherever you overstressed, couldn't you? Nope. 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 No? You cannot over. Nope. Oh. Cannot, uh, cannot use uh, the time enhancement Blue. or yeah. slew really? mode. Really? Yeah. Good. Oh, welcome, <laughs> Aviation. Uh, he just got done with his VAT Sim ATC training in Phoenix there. Oh, good. So you spent two hours doing this? <laughs> <laughs> was, the first it was the first instruction they gave you take the mic out of your mouth? <laughs> God damn. I don't know what's going on with VAT Sim lately, but can I just say that's going on? I know and swear like half the controllers and pilots sound like they're at like a freaking fast food restaurant. <laughs> no, they sound like this. Welcome McDonald's, can I take your order? Well <laughs> if you're going to do that, you should probably make sure that you get good enough headset and mic set so that it sounds good you know it's like streaming you don't want to have the two dollar headset and go can you hear me can you hear me okay i'll shut up now well i'm back on the headset <laughs> that has the duct tape and a uh, wire <laughs> actually that explains why you're louder dan yeah because the mic is closer to the mouth this right now hmm. No I'm problem. No. no, I'm just. That's why it's a little bit louder than it has been the last couple of nights. Who oh, you? Yeah, yeah the no. fourteen dollar one Whoa, gave up. Speaking of loud, Jesus Christ! That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's Dan. He's got the the one that has got the mic like in his throat. Dan would be perfect for that sim nowadays. Mm hmm. Well, he's learning how to fly. That would be the next thing is to get him on bat sim. Yeah. And just deal with. Yeah. Doing comms on your own. I gotta be honest. I'm about done with that. Time. I just, I just can't. I know. I was only messing. I wasn't messing with you, man. I was messing with aviation. I was messing with Vatsim in general. I've been on Vatsim since there's been a Vatsim. 
and um, the quality of it. And it's not the controllers for the most part. It's the pilots. It's just, it's not good anymore. It just isn't. And I get it. It's a volunteer thing. And people put a lot of their own time into it and study hard and work hard and everything. And it ain't easy to control. I fully understand that. Especially I get when it. you have like trolls nowadays on yep, bat it's, sim. It's 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 all it's all memes all the time now is what it is. Because I know I was trying to take off from Denver, and there was two people just basically trolling around with tower like they were cruising at. I think it was like seven thousand nine hundred to stay away from the class Bravo, and they were just pissing the hell out of tower. If you want to um if, if you want to have a real fun experience just wait till wait till matt davies goes live and then watch the the troll army come out and don't fly anywhere near where he is um, it's all memes everybody wants to be famous everybody wants to end up on one of these best flight sim moment videos so you know hold on let me look this guy up yeah, yeah there, there's another one that is a big air, air you know the yeah. flight sim troll that I know that BP guy's a massive idiot. I don't know why anybody watches him. Well, I, I won't mention who this person is. Matt who? Oh. Um, I, mean, I like Evie. Bellins. I've been watching him a long yeah. time, but he's so big. He's so big that he just attracts the, you know. Yeah. So, well, that's uh, Matt that's, Damey. Well, the guy I'm talking about, he doesn't attract him. He is one. Hmm. And he's yeah. made a, a YouTube channel out of it. We're talking about Air Force Proud? I'll call oh, him yeah, out that on too. it. I'll call him out on it. He's an idiot. It's yes. simple. No, I'm not afraid. All he does is troll. Aviation makes a good point. It, you know, the pilots can just jump right on Absolutely. without any training. But the ATC has got to go through all the training classes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Which is why I firmly believe that to fly online, and I've been suggesting this for five years, that to fly, if you want to fly on the VAT sim, they should make everybody... They don't make P. They don't even make P one mandatory. And P one is the basics of how to use VATSIM, how to talk, what to say, what to look for, how to log in, how to get your models matched, how to download the software. They don't even make that mandatory. But everybody should have to go through P one. I believe everybody should have to go further, go through P two and P three, and learn how to fly the damn plane. You know yeah. what I mean? But they'll never yeah. do that because it'd cut the ranks of VATSIM in half. The amount of people that would join up to VATSIM would go in half. I got to be honest, IVAO, which I always thought was a bit of a joke, is a lot smoother. I flew on IVAO for the first time in a long time, not too long ago, and it was very good. It was very good. There was no trolls. The controllers weren't spazzed. It was, it was nice. So, And the other thing VATSIM needs to get rid of is that damn VHF simulation. Mm -hmm. Let us use our real voices. You know what I mean? Because that's just stupid. It's a sim. We get it's a sim. You know, it'd be a lot easier to understand, especially not like for people who don't, if English isn't your first language and you're flying in an English speaking controlled area, well, it's hard enough to understand without, or vice versa, without having that VHF simulation with all the crap going on in the background. Yeah. That seems voice quality has been awful forever, but they make it worse with that stupid. Thing. Anyway, that's my VAT rant. Congratulations, by the way. It's, it's good to know there's another controller out there who's going to know what they're doing. Yeah, aviation does put a lot of effort into his flying and the ATC. He, he takes it personal in a good way. Now, I've never controlled anything in my life. So, yeah, you can disable it, but VATSIM's overall voice quality is lousy. And I get it, it's the servers, and I get they're, you know, 20 years old, and I get it, but... Um, like Pilot Edge. Now, Pilot Edge is the exact opposite, right? Pilot Edge, you have to pay for it. The people on the, the controllers on ATC, uh, the ATC controllers on that, that was redundant on Pilot Edge are paid because most of them are either real ATC training to be real ATC or retired ATC. They don't mess around with the they, their voice quality is fantastic. It's 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 grown like crazy too, and it's good. And if they expand out outside of California and outside of the sort of west of the United States, if they were to ever get over into Europe, I tell you what, that's going to be in trouble. So, and it's unfortunate. It's too bad because VATSIM can be, when it's right, it can be a lot of fun. When you do cross the ponds or any of the big events, they're fantastic. But you get five, six, seven, ten trolls on there, and it just ruins everything. It ruins everybody's hard work who's trying to do it right. Well, why isn't there an admin on there just kick and just drop? There are. There are. They, they, they've gone to a complete zero troll policy now. 
the guys get booted off the frequencies and out of the network every day. It happens every day. The problem is it is nothing about making a new account. So, you know, and, and I don't know why they can't do it by IP address because not everybody has a static IP. If you live in Europe, you don't have a static IP. You can just dial up whatever IP you want. Well, only us, only us people in America have static IP. <laughs> uh, aviation, those nice words will be followed by harassment later offline. I'm, I'll harass you like crazy then. Now, what you need to do is get this fool flying on Vatsim. Uh oh. Which fool? I mean, yes. I've been this trying for, for months uh, to get okay. these guys on Vatsim. You, you just made it sound so appealing. I know. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me put it to you this way. It's like jumping on, when's, of course, when's the last time any of us did this? But jumping on a, pu on a public farm sim server. I can't remember the last time I did that. Um, yeah. Never? Yeah, but, never. Okay, but if you ever did it, you'd know the, the chaos that it can be, right? Right. But occasionally you get a good one. Well, that sim's the same way. I can fly for 15 hours, talk to 10 different controllers, have a great day, you know, the whole time. And be and and just be get off and be like that was great I loved it or I could fly out of Heathrow get out of Heathrow controlled space and then just have it all go to shit. It's it's you never know. It's like anything else. I mean the thing to remember is even though I'm complaining about it, it is very good. It's very immersive when it works right. You know it it will increase your your sort of knowledge about flying and about how things work in the real world. And it's a lot of fun. And at the very least, these guys like your boy here aviation and the guys who put the work into control because it is a lot of work to learn that stuff mm. gives them something to do <laughs> you know what i mean it makes all that work worth it by following their directions by flying correctly by doing all the things that you know you, that we want to do to play you know like i don't ever like i wouldn't ever recommend Stu fly on bats right i just <laughs> you know yeah. Because I know him, you know what I mean? I know Stu. Stu doesn't care. Stu's not going to listen. He's going to he's gonna land where he wants, and he's going to do what he wants, and that's Stu, and that's fine. And he's never made any, you know, any effort to be anything else, and that's why we all love him, right? But for guys like us who take it a little more seriously, you know, it's, it's, it's good. When it's good, it's great. Yeah. Because <clears throat> it can be very boring to do a long-haul flight and not talk to anybody for 10 hours. You know, you're not going to get worldwide coverage obviously but you know you'll get controllers in the big you know in the big countries i've had controllers in places i never expected to get control from holy shit cool. is that the runway yeah i know i'm like draco where the hell are you going well the runway runs right next to a road for me <laughs> there you go let's get the extra the next step up and now you got to play with roads not just which airport well, i guess no, you the... just pick whichever one you want with the land on there I mean, um, Draco. Well, no, it's a road. Uh, wow. They really got to work on the Bahamas. They got a road running right through the center of the runway. Oh. It's probably like that in real life. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm dodging light poles. It happens. Speaking of ATC, they want to make up their mind with the, what they want you to do. Do they want you to climb and maintain flight level 2000 or do they want you to descend? The, so the now descent. they want the, me at 2000. I'm, I'm trying to get down to it. Right. This is still the Caribbean. So the transition altitude still 18. They shouldn't be saying flight level anyway. It's an, that's a, that's a, that's an altitude, not a flight level. You have a little transition. In game ATC. <laughs> Well, granted, but at least I'm trying to listen to it and get, well, I don't want to do that, and get used to it before I make the next step. Oh, God, this ain't nothing like it is. <laughs> I know, <laughs> I know. I mean, the, the phraseology is similar, but. Right. You know what you do? You just, you get, you get, you know, you get the client, you, you get that spice, so you can see who's on, you go park up, you log in as an observer, you go park up in a cargo stand somewhere where nobody's going to be. And you just sit there for a couple hours and you listen. That's what I did when I first started. Or you just go to live ATC. Yeah, that helps too uh, sometimes. I, I've you actually done a, that, but... There wasn't a listening client through VATSIM where you could just listen. Hey, Trey, how you doing? Or, Welcome to the stream. 
but it's easy enough to log in as an observer. Just send a text message to the control and say, I'm just, you know, I'm over here at X sitting out of the way. I'm in my plane and I'm listening. I'm an observer. Okay, cool. Nothing wrong with that. And the thing people forget about Batson too is if you don't know something, it's okay to ask. Oh yeah, I ask them all the time. You know, if you don't understand what they're saying, I ask people to repeat stuff because I'm not particularly bright. So I'll, I'll ask them to repeat stuff. I don't ever correct them. I just say, you know, Yeah. Well, and exactly. That's that's a valid point, aviation. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh, the fuck. better we treat them, the better they'll treat us. Uh -oh. I have never once been refused a request uh... for anything that I've asked to do. So. Oh, that that air that airport is just all twenty different types of fucked up. Not show for me. The, show me the way, brother. <laughs> he does not know the way. Well, you got a street running into the runway. Yeah, that probably happens. You still do not know the way, brother. I, I just watched that street. I landed on the yeah. runway. I'm parked on the end of 3-1. Apparently, you do not know the way. Alright. No, I know where I am. I'm on the piece of crap runway that they have here in that Orbix or Flight Sim or whoever the hell has decided to put here. My brooder dead its trees over there in grass field. You are not on the runway. Right. That's what happened the last time we flew, too. We we see it differently than he does. Yeah. Yeah, as we noticed that with, I think, one of the airports where it was basically just a river where it got <laughs> flooded. How is your plane still alive? It's just going through a forest over there. There's a German guy, and I can't think of his name, but he done, he generally tends to do like he'll he was doing Munich the other day, and um, I don't know if he was approach or, or what he was, but and he's he's a funny funny guy. He's good. He's he's smooth and he knows his job and he's relaxed and you know ten thousand planes flying in and out and he's just you know he's just joking and doing his job. And so it, it, like I said, it's really good when it's good, but when it's not good sometimes, and it's. And it's rarely the controller's fault. Sometimes you get you get guys that are a little dictatorial, you know. But you know they've got X amount of planes and X amount of airspace, and they've got you know X amount of time to get them through. So yeah, you just always got to remember your controller's job is to get you the hell away from them as quickly as possible. That's their job. So all right, let's see how bad of a landing that actually oh, was. Crap! Come on. What do you got? God pointing you in the right direction, there, Moon Dog. You got a big sun shaft headed right down to the island. <laughs> yeah. yeah. God's runway. God's approach lights. Uh, let's see here. Whoa. Yeah, I know. That's a little. Was that weather doing that? No, that was me taking off uh, and trying to uh, correct. Oh, there it is, Matt Davis. Yeah, Let's balance. check this out. The last couple of days he's been doing um, IRL streams. He went and brought his MacBook to get fixed the other day, and then today he was building his father's PC. I think he flew something later in the afternoon, but I was I was streaming, so I didn't watch it. Oh, well, I'm sure I broke something on that one. I'll check him everything. Three hundred and forty-nine feet per minute. So how you been, Zig? Um, I'm good. Still trying to get the bathroom done. Or the basement. I've got a Just lot of lights right back. The runway. The, the never-ending basement project. Oh, it'll be or done soon. It, oh, that's it over there. That's it over there. Where am I at? Yeah, oh, he does whatever. aviation. It's too bad, too, because it's not like he's, you know, he's not recruiting them. He's not telling people to do it. But he's so big and, the, you know, he's so famous that everybody just wants to be hey look at me you know it's the hero of my beer so it's flight sim memes it's it's just unfortunate 175 feet per minute i don't want to be that famous plus i play farm sim who gives a shit all right i think i do have it you, you, you found a way 
I think I've got it. Yes. Yep, you look good. Yeah. Well, I also fly pretty well too, but thanks for the compliment. Well, yeah, I mean, you can keep thinking that. <laughs> Not everyone has seen the Unibomber photos. <laughs> I fly good and I'm good looking. Yeah, a lot of guys go. A lot of guys go offline when he comes on too. I, I, I had the misfortune of being at Heathrow one day when he was flying out to JFK, and I was going somewhere in Europe, and um, I was behind him on the taxiway, and people were just slowing in and out to try to get on his streams. I had to disconnect. He was cool though. He did say, you know, he did say, "Hey, I'm, you know, I apologize for that for everybody who's here, you know." But he, it's not, it's not in his control, so. Right, and he he's actually a really good pilot, and he's, oh, he's had, great. Yeah, and he, but and, he doesn't give a shit, which is what I like about him. He's he's a guy, you know what I mean? He's yeah. a dude. He's funny, and he's you know, he's 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 good at what he does, and you know, and he, he deserves his success. Crazy, he's got eight hundred yeah. paying subscribers. You know what I mean on Twitch? So, he, he I still like the one episode that him and Squirrel did where they flew somewhere, like to northern Scotland. And they were trying to land as the plane was running out of fuel. fuel. I mean, and they did it wonderfully. Got and quite literally got off the runway, and then had to like call for a refuel truck. Yeah. I mean, they landed and it had fumes in it. It seems like every time he flew with Squirrel, he would forget. They would like they forgot to take the gear pins out of the Dash Eight one time. and couldn't put the landing gear up. Oh yeah. And and then that other time Something. that he um that he flew. Oh, crap. He flew the shared cockpit with the Dash 8 with somebody else, and he went to put the props to 900, and he shut the condition levers off. <laughs> and both engines shut off. <laughs> so, uh, Trey, thank you very much for your subscription. I just saw it pop up on my phone. I don't know why Streamlabs isn't telling me that you subscribed. Because it's... Um, and I don't have that command for, dis uh, for the Discord channel, because it's not my Discord channel. It's Zig's. All right. Come on. I don't see Pappy lights, but I see runway lights. You see lights. the runway lights? If you got yeah. runway lights, you're good. You don't need Pappy yeah. lights. There are no Pappy lights for this. 300. Well, no, I, I, it's fine. I'm just trying to keep it. Just catch up to the threshold. You'll be fine. Yeah. So how do I join you if I wanted to? Uh, join join FS. You watch, Mo you, you watch Moondog when you he makes his how to join FS uh, tutorial. I, you know what? I probably should. Oh, come on, correct, yeah. overcorrect. One hundred. Rudder is your friend in that situation. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. How about we all shut up and let Moondog land the plane? Let's try that. Fifty. Okay. Forty. Clearly not listening. Okay. Yeah. I'm giving him callouts. Yeah. Him that's, he's that's not helping. Way more than fifty feet above, anyway. So. <laughs> all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and next one in. That was a little hard, but it set and it stayed. You got it. You got it. You're good. Retard. Retard. Light pad. And I see no other planes here, so I'm either at the right one or the wrong one. No, you're here. You'll see me at All the right. end of the runway. The end, All right. right. Yeah. I don't know, but I'm kind of at the point now where nice. I just want to start landing at the bigger airports because these little nice. ones... Yeah. At least around here are just all messed up. Well, the next one, which should be pretty decent because we got to take off in a 737 from there. It can't Hopefully be Hopefully they no. got it right. Yeah. I still ain't with it. Like I said, I mean, it was good. It, it's fine. A little bit rough, but it was down and then it didn't bounce, though. So. It wasn't rough at all. It's a Cessna gonna feel it when you land there's no way no, to, that's true you don't yeah. you only grease these so much mm -hmm. hey, you only it, grease it, them if you have a 15 knot headwind right if you're right yeah i've done that before that helped when you don't know you're on the ground like i did that day let's see where they are <laughs> what's really nice is when you're doing short field landings and you're like i just want to hit the marker i want to land at <laughs> you don't care yeah I, I just think it's cool that this is your guys's airport but for me you guys are on the beach <laughs> well, 
Plateau, so we landed on the beach. All right, and then here, here's the one thing that I did that I did wrong. No landing lights, no taxi lights. I was gonna say it's awful dark. I didn't even notice <laughs> it till just now, but yeah, good point. How many times I've done that? Not so much in airliners, but like flying these things, forget to put my landing lights on, forget to turn them off, forget to turn my strobe on. And this has a checklist. You think I would know better? Yeah. Only yeah, I can we'll put do. my tail number. Parking brake on. So. I was say you're not gonna park in the ocean, right? No. <laughs> Unless it's an aircraft carrier. Holy crap! They have. This is another one. They've got the water right there. So don't get off the runway. Yeah. <sighs> I see. We're doing Sig this. flying over. Some yeah, land with the water is the right there. I just took off again. Did you? Alright. Alright. Now I can find my flight higher up. If I can find out which well, cab it is that I have it as. So, I'm trying to determine exactly what's holding this runway up. Because <laughs> it's pretty much yeah. right. <laughs> If you'd have turned right an inch, you'd have been in the water. Yeah, I know. I, I noticed that on the outside. I'm like, it's a good thing I'm where I'm at because that means I can file this thing and get it over with. Like, I'm mm -hmm. just curious. I'm, like, close to the edge. <laughs> Is this thing built on stilts? Is it? I mean, what's, uh, what's It's a floating island. island. They have concrete right underneath it. Apparently. So that it, yeah, and that's it. Okay, um, you have you have it in and you have it installed. Yeah. The next thing you want to do is go to um, okay, well, file. Oh, you guys are flying 737s next? No. No. We're we're, oh. we're doing the 182 again. The one um, the one after that's a 737, 737. flight. Yeah. Um, go to file, scan for models, make sure you have all the, that done. I've already done that. You've done that. Okay. Then go to view, and then you'll have hubs. Click on the hubs, it'll pull up like another window, and then you'll see somewhere down the list, digital theme park. Yeah, and, and for that one, when I take off with the 737, I plan on taking off with like three gallons of fuel because it's only supposed to be like an hour, like a half hour flight or something like that. Yeah. When you find digital theme park, click on the join button and that'll make you in join and you're that much closer to flying with us. Then you'll see that your simulator button on the, the little uh, window will be green and the network one will be green. Okay. If you've got all that, then you just have to put your plane at MYBG and you'll see us. You guys don't mind if I fly with you? No. Nope. Oh, we would hate go that. Ahead. Go away. Go to go find your own stream somewhere. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm, ba I'm banned from my own stream now. I'll be quiet. <laughs> we, no, you'll only be banned from calling it anything to do with the monkey show. <laughs> um, <laughs> All right, hold on. I gotta get back from Sky. Um, okay. You'll forgive me if I don't if I don't fly. You know, early morning. Like, oh, whoa! It's gonna be during the no. day. Here's Dan. Yeah. I'll be right back. That's right. Yeah. Um. Okay. Well, if he's here and he's in a trike, he's at least here. Now he's just got to change the plane. Yeah. At least a 172 would be nice. He's got the he's got the A2A 172. Yeah. All right, so I'm just going to need the letters for that in a second. What is it, MYBG, where you guys are now? Yep. MYBG, yep. yeah. Yep. So, let's see. I want to go to... It's... Yeah, it's... Uh, there's Dan. I think. I'll take, I'll take the Australian one. Yeah. Uh, so what happens? Like, did you get caught in one of those downdrafts or updrafts or something? He was, he had, he's AFK for a minute. Oh, okay. Yeah, the code is, Mom, would you buy guacamole? 
It's just so I have a flight plan for um M Y N N is our destination. M Y N N for you. And uh, I'm getting my Mac cars here set up real quick on the other screen. We got mine. I just need to do a run up. And then I'm good. I never feel any as as serious as I take flying an airliner, I never stuff with this thing. Oh yeah, I don't do like run ups or anything. The airliner boat, it's like when it's something like this and you can actually foul your engine and everything, then yeah. 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 Can put too much fuel in your engine. I accidentally fouled my engine once and it took forever for me to get it cleaned out. It sounded like my engine was gonna explode with all the backfiring and missing. Actually, yeah, speaking of which, um Let me just see. What's the maintenance like? And the only thing else I gotta do is change the time. Alright, that's ready, right? This table's off, yeah. We still have folks landing. Does it look like we can go back to the other end and take off in the correct direction? Anyone got collisions on with their planes? Negative, Ghost Rider. Aren't we waiting on Zig? No, well, no go ahead. No, I was just going to go back to the other end. That's all I was going to do. No, go ahead and go. Down here me too. Yeah, I'm down here at parking. I just got to get yeah. it. Okay. It's giving me some reg some just sort of regular weather, but I want to. Oh no, it's also. Awesome. I forgot it auto loads these when you don't have anything else. In. Mm -hmm. Is it raining? It is, or it did rain? It was raining. It's not raining at the moment. Possibly. All right, so you guys see me or? I think so. You're on. Are you on three one? No, I'm on, no, I'm on parking. I'm in the parking. Right. Oh, there actually is parking. Yeah. I'm looking. I see Andrew. You did say MYBG, right? Yeah. MYBG. Yep, yeah. there you are, BP. Okay. Are you on Join FS? Yes. Yeah, I see him. I see. Let's see here. Andrew, BP, Moondog, I'm guessing that is Dan, and Zig. Plane's still in good shape, so that's good. Traffic. EP. Oh, there is parking. There should be parking. Yeah, oh, somebody at. Um, I think that's Moondog rolling. Yeah. Are you just going down to BP? Well, takeoff's going to be on 13, so... How do I do that? <laughs> what, start up and take, go to the other end, or...? Yeah, go to the other end. Just release drive parking right on down. Add power. Do what? <laughs> release the parking brake, add power, drive to the other end. And then, really, and then bring just your power down, down and hit your brake. Yeah. I don't even right. know what the break is on this. So, so we're uh, taking off from that side. Roger that. Let this warm up for a minute and we'll all roll down there. Of course, it wouldn't hurt if I gave it a little throttle. Alright, tease. <laughs> Oh, 
I'm oil off. This thing's must. This thing must have an oil leak or something, because every time I land, I'm down a little bit on oil. It uses a little bit with the flight. All right, set my time. Aviation's learned how to get the correct runway for wind direction. That's that's good aviation. That's an important thing to know for what for you're a doing controller. There. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to set it for 11.45 GMT. Um, yeah. I reset my time. I'm five minutes till 12 right now. flows for in the flows for Phoenix for the runways well I'm sure it takes quite a little bit for that sim to learn the airports as well as actual air traffic controllers to start learning correct procedures yeah <laughs> you know right. I don't think that that job is an easy one just let me know when we're getting ready to go so that way I can get started up and get my back car started. I got six minutes till takeoff. How far out are you there, uh, Zig? 40, 40 miles. 40 miles? So what about 20 want, minutes. 20 minutes. Do you want us to, you want us to hang out? No, you're fine. All right, we take off and we can fly very slow. That way we can land and take right back off. So how do you do this, a correct startup when it's warm? Oh, uh, it's the same thing, but without priming it? That's what I was thinking. to know some uh, barometer. Uh, 30.07 or... Um... That'll do. <laughs> 30.07. Am I rolling? Yeah, I am. It's got a damn plane. No. Stop. No, you're fine. Andrew was moving backwards. I was pushing back. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought I was rolling. <laughs> <laughs> Here, hold on. Let me scare BP again. No, no, no. I gotta get my <laughs> cylinder head temperature up again. It's cooled off. Are you gonna drive right through me now? Yeah? Yes, you are. first I was like, oh, they they put all the houses on stilts, and then I realized the houses are... Are the houses just floating? Yeah, the houses are just freaking floating. That don't seem right at all. How long is this fight? Uh, it's supposed to be 26 minutes. Alright, I just want to be sure I have enough fuel. 
I've been doing 20 gallons in each tank, and that's gotten me everywhere with more than enough fuel to spare. Yeah, I haven't put fuel in that since we landed at Corsica so. Yeah. It's actually 30 minutes. Probably don't need my um, cabin heat on down here. Yeah, you do. You need your defroster on because it, it, it still fogs up. That didn't sound good. Oh, come on. What's wrong, Zig? Oh, the sim crashed. Yeah, switch to e electrical failure, I guess. All right, one minute till takeoff time. Same. One dog. Yeah, I'm good. Just sending a quick little message. So yeah, I'm good. And that's going to do it for my stream then for tonight, guys. I'm not going to start over again. So thanks for everybody that hung out with me. Go over and check out, uh, hop over to uh, Mr. Moondog or Draco, and uh, I'll hang out, but I'm, I'm not starting the flight over again. Uh, okay. Flight sim is a mother, isn't it? Today it is. Boy, it is. I'm just, yeah. That's it. P3D V4 for everybody. Moondog's.